Yeah, let's talk about how you can add low-code drag-and-drop page or section building to Next.js. So you can integrate it wherever you like in any Next.js site. You can build new pages, visually build sections of Next.js sites, or even manage CMS data. So this way you can sort of interweave where you want code and where you want low code, visual coding. Integration is actually really straightforward. Instead of hard coding the layout of a page, in the case of builder.io, you have this builder component render. It really just takes JSON that you pull from an API that describes, oh, well, your hero should go there with these props and you know products or columns should go there, and it can render it out dynamically. In this case, you fetch the JSON from builder's APIs using queries off of custom fields or targeting, like saying, oh, we want to have this page or this section on the home page versus the collection page or, or whatever else. Then the really cool part is you get a visual drag and drop editor right within your website. You could drag and drop with the components from your code or some built-in components that Builder.io provides. And the cool part about using your components is you register them right in your code base. So you just register what components you want to use and just annotate what their props are, like should there be a color input, a URL input, a text input, you know, stuff like that. Then those components show up in the drag and drop editor. It's kind of like building your own site or page builder. You can drop them on the page and then the props become those fields and as you type in you know like the hero title dress relief it'll show up in real time giving you this nice real time collaborative preview then you just click that publish button in the top right corner and your changes either go live or you can schedule them for future dates or you can do some pretty advanced stuff like personalization or a b testing which when you combine it with things like next.js edge middleware you can get insane speed with dynamic content which is really cool and if you're thinking oh that sounds very new well there's actually a lot of big websites already doing this like afterpay zapier adams or everlane and yeah, these are some of the main things people like out of it. The real-time collab, the good performance, a lot of different integrations exist with tools like this. Uh, it can be really handy for working with teams and not having to be inundated with requests to add a button or change a page layout. You can just hand that back to the non-development team and say, hey, you make your new page, you make your edits to pages. I will just keep making components and other interesting stuff and you can kind of leave me alone, let me focus. <laughs>